everyone, OJ here, and right now for the next game of this matchup, we're about to be seeing what is going to be the next one game to game favorite. Right now, as for Test 2, we'll be standing by here for the next game here at UBS Arena. This part of the next game we have is the Hurricanes and the Islanders. Right now, the Hurricanes are already been swept out here for the New York Islanders right in this moment. Here at UBS Arena, looking for an our way to make a goal out of it. If they get the 3-1, they will have a chance to make the game here in Game 5 to try to take a win and move on to the next round. While the Winnipeg Jets will have a free, the Wilds have a game in position here. It's a 3-2. They are absolutely not really trying to like stop here, but they are coming back with the game of the overtime winner, the final score. And now, the series is 3-1. Well, let's find out for this one, because there might be somebody else that could try to take it over. Hurricanes or Islanders? Well, there's a call. The next commentary I will have? Now it's Test Tube and Son of Beast. The center ice will be me phone here at the UBS Arena, and I'll be back with the postgame show. Enjoy the next game, everyone, and I'll see you all later. Hello, everyone. Test Tube here, and we are back at UBS Arena. For tonight's matchup in Game 4, the Hurricanes and Islanders. The face-off is ready, and we're ready to take the shot down. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. The courtesy lineup is here as being as follows. We have Miss Pellich. They're on the right angle of the wing. We have is We have the narrow one that goes with Horvath. Then across on the left of the wing, we have his Angvel. Moving from the back, we have his Pellich. Then from the right hand is, Pe is Mayfield, and Lee is in the center. The other side of the, goal of the goaltenders here, we have his Sorokin. The Sorokin, one of the amazing players in there in offense that has a great a potential to make that one maintain. The other way to make the, the games go ahead, they have one they take, and they have one to try to go right from back from the post to post speed in the scoring of the game. That's because he knows his uh, routine rules. He's never really uh, doing this in a lot of his own, but he has it all making out the same thing. Anderson's the stop making for the puck, as right now that stops the play with 18 19 to go. That's your starting goalie for tonight for the Carolina Hurricanes. Now for the faceoff. Nelson wins the faceoff. Face it off to Pollock. Slap shot with the shot. That's off on Anderson. With the Hurricanes on the other hand, we have his slamming. Across from the other angle, we have his Burns. And Kotemi. From the left wing, past the Nickus. And back is Tarabainen. Shot, stopped by Sorokin. That will hold the puck save here. The first one with the save is not really that calling for. Because of this one here, he has played here recently. And he had definitely made a win against the Hurricanes in game two. That was his last one that was ever had played here. And they made a great win in the regulation period. A lot of ticking time offers out there. They might be looking for another way to try to tie the swept the run. Right now the Hurricanes have a 2-1 two two lead. They might be going to force it for a 3-1 lead. But let's see if they can do this one again. Now he finds Romanov back to Pollock. Pollock shot. Rebound in front. That's a stop made by Anderson. Anderson keeps it on here with the deck of the run. It's really not hard to try to make the goaltender make a good save out of it. And with that one, it's hard to keep him right in good condition. Right now, after the icy whistle on New York Islanders, they're now facing the puck drop here in the Islanders' territory. Now with Paul Terry, now Nelson wins it. He fires the puck across. Paris is at the corner, now kicking it off. Now Porson speed groupman for the pass change. Carolina in the offensive zone. With the shot, deflected off the skate, and it goes back over to the Islanders of the Nelson. Nelson moves it across the veer in the corner of the gangle. Pollock outside, back over to Romanov. Romanov swings to Pollock. Slot the shot. That's stopped by Anderson. Martin Nook. Back the other way, making another one to go back to the offensive run. Taking a shot that hits a kick pad save here by Sorokin. Stall back to Fast. Fast moves Quacks to Slavin. 
Simon in front. Stopped by Sorokin. That will hold the puck at 14 13 to go. Very tough call for Sorokin, but this is what they really are keeping in for tonight. A better wild saving most of post drive. Now with the win. Satsi gets it. Oh, he almost had that one with the goal. Fashioning back over to Sisikas. Chadney lost the puck as Dobson recovers it. New York back to the offense zone in a territory. Martin flings back to Ajo. Now Dobson. Open shot. Deflect it. It goes up in an inning and it goes out of play. We got the face off coming up. Both players are set. They're about to get started with the tip off of the face off. Test tube here along with Son of Beast. No scores given out in the first period. Schedule on Stepan. Mayfield regroups the puck here with the with the players. Now Fashing slides across here from the ice. Gives it off to look to Martin. To Pelic. Out back over to Mayfield. With the move in front. Oh, almost with that block. Stepan to nose it. He slings back over to Pets. Pets moves it right over again to Shasney. Chassis clicks off. Almost with the puck loss, but Stepan recovers it. Poked it away by Lee. Then goes back to Horvath. With a two on attack. Crossing. Lee almost lost it again for a second, but try to hold on quick. Mayfield will have to regroup the puck here again. Yeah, because they're almost picking on the uh, players. The offense is not looking a uh, good start. Because of the Carolina Hurricanes, they're trying to battle it for the loose puck. That's very difficult. But don't get to get caught up in your way, because that's very difficult to try to recover it and go back towards their offense strategy. You're not going to succeed it if you're going to get this one puck right away. That's a tricky one, and you're going to get this one a call. Firing the puck over again to Horvath. Horvath bounce out. Hatemi back over to Terravainen. Tarayan goes down to the board. Now back to Bailey. And the penalty call. That will be Carolina. Horvath. And there it is. That will be a slashing call on Tarabina. Well, that must be the call. This has happened before. That first penalty box is going to be a tough, brutal, painful look. New York Islanders are on the power play run for the game four of the night. About to see if they can try to take a one nothing lead over Carolina. Burns clears the puck out. Dobson catches one and now goes back towards the Bailey. Bailey took a swing out of it by Slavin. With the Bailey, oh, shot is stopped made by the goaltender. The goaltender was really keeping his on his eye. The sprint. All he does, he was clicking his quick feet move. That's because you know that the goaltender was doing the right option. He's trying to pick it up already, so keep your eyes on the peel. Paris, open with the pass. Looking back towards the offense on the run to pick up their own territory. With the shot! Oh, one-timer stop made by Anderson! 9.08 to go in the first period. It's still no score in the game. Now they're back into the offense to pick up the run. Still no score in the game. Coyola wins the faceoff. Nelson sinks to Dobson. Back to Nelson. No penalty called on Carolina. Dobson shot. Deflection was blocked. Martin up. Firing the puck out. 30 seconds for the Islanders power play. Now kicks off to Paris. Paris, right towards firing across again to Horvath. Horvath still recovers it. Now he kicks it past to Nelson. Oh, Nelson didn't have a right look of an open look on the offense. That was off wide. Turbine is ready to go. And they'll have to force to remake a forfeit for the power play goal for the Islanders as Carolina makes that great stop and vantage. Yeah, you could say this one. Because if Anderson was making a drive out of it, that was going to give him a hard call. Not for him, but the longer they had. But in that case, it's not very clear of what they're going to do. 
They're very on the hard one to try to keep him out of here for tonight. Terrible in the middle. Move around the back. Sorokin make a good stop save. New switches for the Carolina Canes. Lee recovers it. Now back to Fashing. Fashing to Nelson. With the shot. That's off the toe and goes out for it right towards the wall. They are out of play. Bad pass is reinforcement. They're not going to get this one successful if they have the right timing. Well, you got to open your eyes. That's because you know that flinging the puck is not going to be an option. you got to make a quick connection feed and go back toward the offense that you have to go for. It's not very uh, complicated. you just got to make an easy move, make a good setup screen. Pellich, shoot around! And Anderson make a stop save. Martin back over to Mayfield. Mayfield and stick lifted as Jarvis pulls away. Sebastian Ajo fires the puck across after he goes down. Jarvis rolls the rebound. Pull the crouch down and kicked away by Sorokin. Now the new change. Here's Kovula. Kovula right to Fashning. Fashing on the fast hand and it's Nosen takes it over. Fast pass broken up. Fashing. Martin. Quick feet off to Romanov. Romanov shot. Stopped by Anderson with the glove save with 4.15 left to go. You could tell when his reaction comes up to it because the arrow players were almost going to get deflected. All because if this happens, they've got to fix it up. That's the pressure to keep their arm. Chassis wins the faceoff. Patch is in behind the net, now rolling to the offensive side. Right to Nozen. Scoop up along the board by Romanov. Pass to Bailey. Bailey on the fast break, going right towards the wall, because Quilva. Holmstro recovers it. Now Romanov back the outside. Bullock in the way. Holmstrom outside. Shoots at one. That shot was blocked and the shot went wide. Kovula trying to put a rush on Shastny. Easy with this one because this is a rough and play. The brutal drive going for Blitz. Jeez, man, you got to slow this down. Pull it. Move around the front. Stopped by Anderson with a big save. Rushing over to Kovula. Kovula make a quick move back to Romanov. Islanders keep on packing, packing passing zone. Cool shot! Scores! That's its first goal in the playoffs! And Islanders have won! An O. That shot right here for Kovola, that was a tricky shot. Shot right toward the ability, right toward the net. When he gets it right towards around to Anderson, he knows he was going to get there. That's because what the Ikovola does, he waits and has that one right in it. Thanks to Polak and Romanov, that one picks up the assist and turn out the right way they had. Thompson, trying to roll over Engvall. Trying to stop on Horvath. Thompson, back to Horvath. Firing a puck across. Lee, moves back over to Ajo. Slings to Thompson. Thompson shot stopped by Anderson. Ako back the other way to Thompson. Thompson shot stopped again and the penalty is called on the holding. Oh, they're going to get the whistle down. That's going to be a second power play coming up for the Islanders and a second penalty box for Tara Linen. Yeah, there's a lot of frustration was going to be out of focus. Cannot slow you down. You're not going to get better at this one if you're going to make that one a tough play. With the call of Ilya Sorokin. He has a post-to-post -post speed in this game and this score. He can try to make this one clear and make it count. Jacob Slavin has been crossed with the defenseman lockdown position. When he puts up a lockdown of the beat defense, the players on offense can try to take them over. But for Slavin, he has a right motion to try to block the shot and also block the pass. He can try to make a quick save out of it and go back towards their offense on their run. Those two are very tough. I'll be keeping an eye here on Sorokin and for Slavin to pick up the run. Guys, Lee 
right toward the backhand. Anderson made the save with 15.9 seconds to go in the first period. Now they're ready to take the face off into the offense zone. The Islanders have the great start advantage with a 1-0 lead over Carolina. Arco blocked off and it's stopped by Anderson. Bullock shot! Deflection went off target. That's because they can't be looking for anybody. That's what's hard. And that will do the first period. An excellent shot by the goal of Kubola. He has that first goal and game. Second period coming up after the break. Players are ready to take on in the center ice, and the second period is about to begin. Right now, we're back on ice. Islanders still have a power play after a penalty called on Teravainen with a, with a slashing call. Now we're covering over is Palmieri. Looking for a power play goal in the fourth game. Looks to Nelson. Shot, and it's Stahl takes over. Lee has it back. Nelson, back to Palmieri. Backhander, trying to put a rebound, but Slavin has it locked up in the zone. Turbine is ready to go. And the power play comes to an end for the Islanders, as right now they have an 0-2 advantage to try to take the goal. But nothing was selected. Yeah, you, you see that, that Slavin and their teammates are really like trying to hustle. They really have their own team. you got to put it locked down. This is what we do. We shut them down. We take them over. That's what the Slavin's team, and along with Sebastian Ajo, and on the other hand of Taravainen. That's because they need to give this one a good call to make that one block again. It's not very easy. It's very complicated to try to look out for the goal and try to take one in a deflection. That's why they don't want it. Palmier passing over to Lee on the other side of the wing. Chiziska, pass broken up. Yarvis takes it over. Gives it off to Skeji over to Ajo. Back to Stachikov. Back to Petsch. Move around the middle. Stopped by Sorokin. The better post to post saving it was coming in right towards the line of it. And you, and you may have to give that one a call because this was a very tough one to try to reach it in the front of it. Because you know, this was happened once before. When every goal game counts, they count. That's because they have their, a lot of possession to take down offense and go right with the head-to-head -head face offs Not very uh, complicated. They're very on to an easier run to get the attackers in. Pallets on the outside goes back over to Mayfield. 16 minutes to play in the second period of the game. Getting started here for the Islanders passing aggressive zone. Here's Svechikov. Moving around the middle, and a backhand shot stop made by Sorokin. Your yeah, Sorokin was making a good stop out of it. I mean, that was a very tough one. Fashioning with the shot. Lost the puck. Gives it back on Skeji. Kuyavula back over again to Romanov. Gives the Fashioning. Backhand shot. Oh, almost had it there, but the player of the Sensikov rejects his shot. Teravainen, to Nekis, shot, stopped by Sorokin with a diving save. That was better play drive for Sorokin. Very tough one to keep on going. Now the players are ready to take him down here in the offense zone of the Islanders' territory. Score is still 1-0 of the Islanders. Blocking away, Holmstrom was really good, but Nekis has it recovered. Dehan strikes over to Gattisbeer. Finds Kotevi, shot stopped by Sorokin. 14 10 to go in the third, second period. They're really trying to fast it up again. All because they knew, really did. It's very that tough to try to keep the scores on. Never get away with it. Now back to Gan. Dehan, oh, Bailey made that block shot. Kotevi, racing back towards his woman off, back over again to Bailey. The Islanders regain their group here to the offense side of the Canes territory. Holmstrom with the puck. Swings back to Bailey. 
Goes right over to Akko. With the move around shot. Stopped by Anderson with the save. Holding off with 13.20 to go in the second period. Still cutting up a warm bit. With the better plays inbounding, the Islanders still have a 1-0 lead over the Carolina Hurricanes. Now back for the win. DeHaan. Back to DeHaan. Nosen. Slides across in the Islanders zone. Sacks a shot and he scores. That ties the game up here. That's his first goal in the postseason and against the Islanders here in the road trip. Now they really called for Shasti was living to make his own workful, that playful to make it. They really have to see that one coming because that's what he does to get this one in there. Now with the win, here's DeHaan. Shasti back in the middle and Stepan. Pass broken up here as Ajo rejects it. He fires the puck around the board. Angville slides across to Horvath. Boost quickly over to Aqua, back again to Dobson. Move around it, and there's the penalty. That's the third time for the Carolina penalty. Right now, Stepan is in the penalty box. After two penalty major calls on Taravainen, now it's someone else's turn to go to the penalty box. Yeah, Derek Stepan was really going to try to cheat the move just like he did. All because of this one, he was running a little too quick. You can't let the player get back into the offense if you want to try to stop the run on defense. You need to try to keep the right precision out there to give this one a goal. Buck cleared out of the Carolina zone. The Islanders are back into the offense zone, picking up their steam. Ahead of the run is Bailey. Looks back to Dobson. Shot! Deflecting with the stick clipped. Off to Nelson. Nelson finds Bailey. Bailey swings it over. Shot! Rebound in the front and stop again by Anderson. That quick save was going big. They never really caught it on. They've really got to start focusing on the one hand goal. I mean, that one was a tic tac toe. Need that one in there. That should be a fun one. <laughs> you say so? Yeah, I definitely say so. They've got to get that one up there. Nelson swings to Paris with a new group. Here's Horvat recovering the puck. Stall with it now. Horvat trying to block it but the pass. 15 seconds. Lee trying to hold on. They've got to get there before the power play expires. Horvat move around and deflect it off again. He's got a great uh, player in the precision out there. Hurricanes are doing really well. They're trying to reject it. That's what they need to do. They have to shut it down. Offside and now goes to icing on New York. We're under passing the midway period. It's still a tie game. Sebastian Ago receiving his third eye of the game. He looks for a clear open passes to maintain his way. And as he makes the price go longer, he really can definitely try to go with the back with the shot. When he gets his own with a saving inbound, he tries to look quickly over to the passing players on offense. Sorokin was really watching him on Sebastian Ajo, so we'll have to keep an eyes on here. Guys, back to you. Tzizikas wins the faceoff. Move around the net. Pass to Fasting. Fasting! Back in! Stop by Anderson! Now Anderson was really saving it again because he was going to go back and toward to make that one play with the beater off the ice toward the puck. That was really tough, but you can't just lose it. You just got to start going right toward it. No way to be thinking about it. Fasting lost the puck. Martin! Oh, he was a little bit bounding off again. And that save me comes by the goaltender. We're moving the puck. Sizikas. Yarvis takes it over. Now back over to Shesikov. Cut in play. Cut away by Fashning. And the penalty calls for New York. This will get their first slashing call. And right now Fashning's at the penalty box. You can't just try to keep the game in there. Because of Fashning, 
He just went in the penalty box, and this is why that's what happens. You don't want to slash it. Carolina on to the power play and be an advantage right now with the first penalty kill on New York. With the with the shot, he will try to toss it up. Chastain with the puck. Swings over. One time stop. Pull up, got it across. Will carry the puck out of his zone for the Carolina zone. Defensive is putting up a card on pressure. Can't lose it. Focus. Homestone! His shot was blocked. Romanov. Pull up. Pulls it back. Wow. We'll have to clear the deck out of it for he can. Four players? Impossible. And clearing the deck? That's good choice. He clears the puck out. Right now, under a minute to play for the Carolina power play. Kicks it off. And will try to leave the puck out of the zone. Oh, hello! That's a smackdown on the power play run. Man advantage with a short handed goal. What's the figure? Now Yaris with the puck. Right on to Mayfield, and shot, rebound, saved by Sorokin. Are you kidding me? That player was inbounding, but Nelson would have that one recovered. He's got to make it fast. Adam Bellage is calling for a motion on defense. He calls it stick it up. When the player was in front of it, he can try to make a stick lift and try to reach it across the zone. It's very difficult to maintain its offense run. But the players are very tough in bounding, and they will have to do it fast. I'll be keeping an eye on Adam Pellich with the, with the stick-up defense. Back to you guys. Tzizika rolls over again to Fashing. Fashing, rolling around big trouble. Trying to stop here. Burns has the puck. Now back to Nosen. The game's still tied. Carolina in the Islanders territory. Such a cough shot. Stopped again by Sorokin. Puck cleared away. Burns will try to regroup the puck here with their offense call. Yeah, this is what never happens already. They're going with oohs and ahs. This is really going to be a very tough timing that they're going to make it go by. I'll go with the puck now going into the offense zone in the middle. Scores! Italy! And Ago has his first goal, and that's a second Sebastian Ago. Now with the confusion of this one, Sebastian Ago was making quick feet right toward the goalpost. It was very clear that he had that right timing. One pointer, and you have Paris with the points inbound. That was tricky. What a way to make an Ako run a good stop for the Islanders. Ako back over again to Dobson. Now the other Sebastian Ako is playing for it. Now here's Sebastian Cobb. Going around Dobson and Ako takes it away. Horvat will try to avoid the tackle. The icing is called off. Horvat swings to Eggval. One time shot was blocked. Jarvis with the puck now, waits towards again to Pets. Pets, gliding over to Ajo. Four minutes gone by in the second period. They flings the puck, goes around the board, back to Pelic. Engbell with the puck now, racing towards the offense on the other side. Engbell, Mayfield, look around the front. Went down hard and it's stopped made by Jarvis. Jarvis was able to try to go with the deflection. Not towards the goaltender, but he was able to give that one a good and call of the offensive run to pick up his own end. That's very tricky. Koivola shot. Oh, a good stop made by Anderson. We're under three minutes to go in the second period. It's a 2-1 lead. Now they're ready to take the offense zone to go for another faceoff. New York up by one. Koivola wins the faceoff. Pellet shot blocked. Pass broken up. Holmstrom and right down in the corner of the wall. And it will have to reinforce to regroup the puck because the players were on the offside of a cause. They have to keep on trying. Nowhere to go again. You gotta try again. That's what everybody has to go for. You gotta get some attempts to go with a better place in this game, and that needs to be a key. Romanov back over again to Pollock. Pollock swings to Romanov back over again. 
with a shot. Try to deflect one in, but it's Burns with a takeaway off, off the goaltender. Moving front. Shot stop made by Sorokin. It's double time stop. They're really on to the better facing of this game for Sorokin. Icing is whistled on New York Islanders with a minute and 13 left to go in the second period. Now the teams are in for the offense zone in the Islanders' territory. Here's Slavin. Takes a shot. That's stopped made by the goaltender. Moving down to a minute to play in the second period. And Bailey will keep playing without being called icing. Reach over back again to Romanov. Swings back to Pollock. Pollock with a shot. That's deflected off the player's end. Burns recovers the puck. They're trying to look over it again. Bailey trying to go with the puck steal. Martin up. Pass is broken up. Back to Fasting over again to Martin. Islanders looking for a way to take the shot. Move around the puck. Pass to Fasting. Shot stopped by Anderson. That gives them a clear look. And the end of the second period is near. Aho with the goal. They got the team up in the lead by, by one. Stick around for the third period, coming up after this. We are rolling down as the end of the fourth game comes in for New York and Long Island. Third period about to begin. Well, it's been a great pleasure in this game, and with all that turned out, the battle of Long Island, New York, and Carolina of the Hurricane of the Sea, there it turned out that they are definitely the tough ones to try to keep on going. And we love seeing how they played here before. What do you think you had the best? Well, I was suggesting that Anderson was able to make that one a good play. That motion seemed very hard, but not for long. He may have another way to try to keep the scores on. That score in a shot is very tough, but you may not notice of what are they going to do now. Well, they might have to just kind of try to like keep on tacking. They might have to go with the reinforcement to try to put an eye contact on the player that they're guarding for. They have a lot of advantage to try to take the scores out of it instead of taking the puck away. Lee, shot blocked by Burns. Svetchikov onto the wing. Going in front of the center. All goes shot. Rebounding, save B by Sorokin. And will hold the puck with under 18 minutes to go in the third. The Glen Center Gliders are ready to take their puck into the offense zone. New York up by one for two to one lead. Now with the stop made, here's Burns back to Nekas. Try to go with the block shot, but it's deflected off of Nelson. Palmieri will try to use his force to go right towards the round the attacker of the wall. Kicks the puck off to Palmieri. Palmieri went around it too badly. Katemni has his puck. Scoops up over to Burns. Carolina on the attack in New York territory. Katemni! Gloved it saved by Sorokin. He's really doing it well because his saving of this game can be not that painful if he wanted to get that one a close call. Now he's just really keeping it going. Try to go for the shot. Save comes in by Sorokin. He will hold the play with 16.24 to go. And they're about to be set, ready to take the face off. The last game of the first night here in Game 4 will be the Kraken and the Knights at Climate Pledge Arena. Right now, standing by, we will have another one to take over from here. As for a lot of shots in the stand, this might be a tough one to try to keep this one inbound in the last commentaries to keep this thing going. Right now, the last game, that was happened before with the Kraken loss, and the win comes in for the Knights. They made a win here, and this was a little bit disappointing in the effort. I gotta say, this, this was very that close call. Mm -hmm, yeah, they did. But not for all, they have to try to go with the reinforcement to regroup. Can't go with the longer way, because that will be a tough one to try to recall it for the group. Under 15 minutes to go, here's Martin, back the other way, right towards Apo. Swings to Dobson, and he's out of here. Dobson says, no, no, I'm not getting slashed out. 
Akko slams down Thompson, trying to put an attack on him. The shot for Kovola. That stop made by the goaltender for the Carolina. Thompson, want to start a little physical contact here. They're really starting to go bangling down. The all it does happen, the two on one attackers are coming by. Dobson shot. It's going to be a blocked and deflection. Now back to Bailey. Bailey will try to scoot across over to Kovula. Kovula trying to make a move. Puck along the board to Pelic. He swings back to Bailey. Behind the net, Holmstrom. Over with the quick pass to Pelic. Kovula. And a shot was been misconnected. Sebastian Aho back the other way. Mayfield trying to put a block on it. Jarvis, Sosikov, Bailey takes a steal. Holmstrom back the other way. Firing the puck along the end. Horvath with a shot. Stopped by Anderson. Made that close call because he, Anderson was keeping it going. That was very close. He knew he was going to get there right in the case to take over it. Bo Horvath. He makes a good contact to go with a quick face-off moment. This is calling the quick draws of this game. Whenever he takes a win of the face-off, he wants to give his team a extra help with the advantage. Their communication skills are keeping the offense ready and taking inbound. He sometimes, however, tries to help the players go with the offense run and try to recover the puck here as he can. But it was very not hard to try to maintain its run. I'll be keeping an eyes on your Bo Horvath with another face-off attack coming up. Guys, Lee lost the puck and he will have to reforce to regroup the team and now go back the offense zone is Engvall. Ago pushing back, passed with the ball. The Hurricane sweeping into the uh, zone in the middle. That's a good stop by Sorokin. Mayfield back over to Nelson. Swings over to Engvall. Giving another pass. Hope to the way. Engvall recovers. Firing it back to Mayfield. Mayfield, move around the middle. That's sketchy with the deflection. Off to the nutter, it's not very uh, complicated to get this run and run. You've got to show what the puck is going. You might need to keep your eyes on open man if you're trying to go on him or attack him. Eggbell, trying to go with the rebound, but it's stopped made by Anderson. Romanov kicks it off to Engbell, moving the puck back to Mayfield. Scrumming around the board, Mayfield, Nelson. Shot! Stop by Anderson with the toe save. That puck was keep on going. They've really got to start stepping it up. Passing the midway period. Here's Mayfield as he gives it back over to Engvall. He passes to Paris. Firing the puck again to Nelson. Try to get away with the call. Paris recovers it. Now Burns will try to take the advantage. Turn lining back to the offense zone to pick up their steam. Look in the middle. That's a good play here by Sorokin. Paris. Oh, when a little swift it off again. That really been settling up here because the defense was trying to put a slot on him. Hook it all, Bert. I mean, come on. I mean, would that be a hooking call? Well, they're trying to silence it. They're saying no cooking calls. They just really keeps on going with the smackdown. It almost could be a charging here, too. Careful with that one. Roman off back over again to Polak. Shot! Rebooking! Scores! Over at the back to back rebounds and Polak made the goal! Now they got it caught up now with 3 1. You see the hustle for Polak. He was coming in and watch what he does. When he gives it off to Polak, he makes that goal. That combo was given up to a better play of adjustment to try to look in currently right towards the open man on offense. Pollock receiving the assist of the, with no assisted plays, but Pollock has it back. That's a great stop. Step on right to Shastny. Knows it back over again in the wing, now looks over to Slavin. Burns on the outside. Stop by Sorokin. Fashney carries the puck in deep. Sezikas covers the puck here with, without being icy. 
Tashin Goosey Thompson. That chassis is steel. Back to Zizikas. They will have to reinforce the regroup here for the Carolina Hurricanes. The Hurricanes regroup their zone. Nosen in the middle. Locked it up again by Sorokin. The quick stop, the better releasement. That's because Sorokin was really up to a great opportunity run to hit off the postseason. That's what he has done most of his game career. Now oh, here's Martin up. Pumped it away by Thompson. Holmstrom. Regas covers up to Kuvola. Kuvola. Try to pick up an inbound. Holmstrom will try to recover it. Kuvola. That puck was broken. Slavin recovers it with 4.30 left to go in the third period. Martin looked back the other way. Fans are just calling the plays out there. They just really do not want to see what the players are going for. They dislike it. That really has to call for a, a not a good look of it. They're overrated. Pellets on the outside. And you no know, tripping call with the Carolina. And right now back the other way as Taroka makes a stop. Mayfield trying to recover the puck over to Paris. He kicks it off to Nelson. We'll have to fire it across here. And oh! I don't think he didn't have that goal in there. He must have been a stop out there. Mm, I really should have challenged that one. That should have been a post call. Ilya Sorokin has his post to post saves in the game. When he gets on close to the offense and the other teams are on the attack, he makes a quick save on the wild puck inbound. With Jacob Slavin, he has his lockdown defenseman. He really gains up for his defensive to try to keep the run up. When he has the players in banding, he can try to shock them with a the block save. And he can try to take the block pass. Maybe sometimes, however, he can try to like keep the block range from the shot on the other team. These two are very impossible. I'll be keeping one of the players inbounding right towards the game. Back to you guys. Avo takes it over. The clock is winding down with only two minutes to go in the third period. Islanders are getting ready to have a tie series back in again. Back from game two. They've won against the Carolina Hurricanes. But now in game four, they're about to do this one again. Yep, they're going to get this one done. They're all having a loan. Oh, here comes the Armis with a shot, and he scores. They're down by one with under 90 seconds to go. It's a 3-2 game. Yarvis with the smoke. He was all alone out there. He just really didn't see it. And I just say that Jarvis was the burning wheels of the game. He should have that one call. As for Jarvis, it's a tough one to release it. I'll be keeping an eye on here for Jarvis with the next one coming in. Back to you guys. Last minute of play in the third period. Burns on fastening. And now they're looking for a way to stop the pressure. Katemi, they're bringing an extra man for the Hurricanes. They're about to get underway. Sorokin stop made. Martin. And the puck is cleared out. Here comes Fasting. And he scores. That will end the man advantage for the Hurricanes. And the Islanders have their extending back to two. It's a 4-2 game. Looking like they're ready to do the heavy the heavy battle. Says, all right, let's do it again. I just have to notice that they were going to get this one right at the moment. They really got a good focus out of it. They just wanted to do it again. Ah, those shots stopped by Sorokin. Such a cost stop pumped away by Pellet. Pellet swings across. And the puck is cleared out. And they will get the win. For the Islanders to try to pick up a series tie. And that will do it. Islanders coming back in for the comeback switch. Each game's of the playoffs. They're very happy enough. They really enjoyed game four better than game three for the last one as the Hawkins made a win. And we 
give a great cheer and make a running roar with the celebration and the saluting fans for the Islanders. They're very excellent, though. What an excellent game it is. I have to agree. With Tessie along with Son of Beast and Meat Bum, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the first round of the Eastern Conference. Thanks for joining with us, and now we go to OJ for the three star players of the game. OJ, it's all yours. Good night, everyone. Alright, Testu, thank you very much for the plays. Islanders, come back to a switch to series time. Let's have the three star players look. The third star goes to Otto Kovula. First goal in the playoffs. Hey, that with a good shot and right towards the angle. The second star goes out to Ryan Pollock. A goal, assist, and hit. With the rebounding in there, watch what he does. When he goes in, he just went right around it. They shouldn't challenge it because if he was in a crease it, he would have stopped it again. And your first star goes to Ilyasin Roken. 34 saves and what a game. Well, that's the biggest attackers that they ever faced it. And now Carolina's Carolina team will have to go back to North Carolina for game number five. Once all four games, game fours of the matchup are complete, We'll head over to game five. Here are the statistics of the board on the other side. 42 shots on goal for the Islanders and 36 for Carolina. 19 and 11. Carolina tried to sweep him up like the storm was putting up, feeling the power of wind. <laughs> I like that one. Maybe they, they can call for a power wind to try to sweep him out. 13 44 were the Islanders timeout attack. 95% of this passing, 19 faceoff wins for Carolina, and 14 for the New York Islanders. Penalties was only 3 of 6 minutes, and 3 chance for the power play goals, no made, nothing has made for the Islanders. And only 1 power play goal for the Her Carolina Hurricanes too. And with that one, only 6 minutes for the power play for New York Islanders, and no shorthanded goals. So that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in for the part of the Islanders and the Canes. We'll get ready for the Kraken and the Knights at Climate Pledge Arena. That's coming up later at 10 p.m. So get your games and get your notification buttons on the on your calendar to watch it anytime. OJ's out of here. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs on the A Sports style. Mark your calendars. We're coming to you next. Kraken and Knights. Stay tuned as we will get the last game in day one of the game four of this matchup. See you all in just a bit. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.